My dear brothers and sisters, a hearty welcome to each one of you for this Holy Eucharist of love. Let us pray during this Holy Mass for each other. Let us pray for the sick and the suffering. Let us ask our dear Lord to bless those people who need God's help, healing touch and a miracle today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind all our sins and our failures, and ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name. For you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings, chapter 19, verses 9 to 11, 14 to 21, 31 to 36. Sennacherib, king of the Assyrians, sent messengers to Hezekiah, saying, Tell this to Hezekiah, king of Judah. Do not let your God, on whom you are relying, deceive you. When he says, Jerusalem shall not fall into the power of the king of Assyria, you have learned by now what the kings of Assyria have done to every country, putting them all under the ban. Are you likely to be spared? Hezekiah took the letter from the hands of the messenger and read it. He then went up to the temple of the Lord and spread it out before the Lord. Hezekiah said this prayer in the presence of the Lord. O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, enthroned on the cherubs, you alone are God of all the kingdoms of the earth. You have made heaven and earth. Give ear, Lord, and listen. Open your eyes, Lord, and see. Hear the words of Sennacherib, who has sent to insult the living God. It is true, O Lord, that the kings of Assyria have exterminated all the nations. They have thrown their gods on the fire, for these were not gods, but the work of men's hands. Wood and stone, and hence, they have destroyed them. 
But now, O Lord, our God, save us from his hand, I pray you, and let all the kingdoms of the earth know that you are alone, our God, Lord. Then Isaiah, son of Amos, sent to Hezekiah, The Lord, the God of Israel, he said, says this, I have heard the prayer you have addressed to me about Sennacherib, king of Assyria. Here is the oracle that the Lord has pronounced against him. She despises you, she scorns you, the virgin daughter of Zion. She tosses her head behind you, the daughter of Jerusalem. A remnant shall go out from Jerusalem and survivors from Mount Zion. The jealous love of the Lord of hosts shall accomplish this. This, then, is what the Lord says about the king of Assyria. He will not enter the city. He will not let no arrow against it, confront it with no shield, throw up no earthwork against it. By the road that he came on, he will return. He shall not enter the city. It is the Lord who speaks. I will protect this city and save it for my own sake and the sake of my servant David. That same night, and the angel of the Lord went out and struck down a hundred and eighty-five thousand men in a Syrian camp. Sennacherib struck camp and left. He returned home and stayed in Nineveh. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Responsorial Psalm God upholds his city forever. God upholds his city forever. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised. In the city of our God, his holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. God upholds his city forever. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city, God in the midst of the citadels has shown himself its stronghold. God upholds his city forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. God upholds his city forever. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not give dogs what is holy, and do not throw your pearls in front of pigs, or they may trample them, and then turn on you and tear you to pieces. So always treat others as you would like them to treat you. That is the meaning of the law and the prophets. Enter by the narrow gate since the road that leads to perdition is wide and spacious, and many take it, but it is a narrow gate and a hard road that leads to life, and only a few find it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, we grumble about many things in life. We are not happy with the food. We are not happy with the, with the way the teachers teach. We are not happy with our parents. We are not happy with our friends. We are not happy with our colleagues. We are not happy with the day. Sometimes not happy with our life. 
it is all because we are self-centered it is all because i do not get what i want what i like what i wish which means in life i hold something precious for me but jesus opens our eyes today and lets us know that all these things be it a material be it in terms of relationship is all waste in life we are worried about materialism and goods that will perish therefore jesus says do not waste your time in these things god has created you as very unique in talents in love and affection these talents what you possess are the virtues that you possess in life which you need to nurture it is all about relationship in terms of love concern affection unity and being in harmony jesus says do not throw all these things before the pigs or the dogs for they will trample and they will tear you into pieces because they do not know the worth of all this so do not allow yourselves to be eaten up by the moth of this world use your talents for good do good to others treat others as you would want them to treat you and that is how we make for ourselves the kingdom of heaven very easy and very very much positive and jesus says the way to heaven is narrow but the way to easy life is wide so many choose this way that will not lead them to heaven so choose the way that has difficulties choose the way that is narrow for that is the way that leads us to eternal life so my dear friends let us ask our dear lord to show us the way and in return we show the right way to others so that together we can help each other to enter the kingdom of heaven amen We offer you O Lord divine our humble gifts of bread and wine we place them on your altar Lord today make them worthy of your love send your blessings from above sanctify these gifts o lord we pray o take our hearts take our minds take all we have make them thine o Pray my brothers my sisters that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father almighty may, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church
as we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due. We humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him, through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, let the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For well, this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Our Faith Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held this body to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and found by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold you who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual communion prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear brothers and sisters, may you have a wonderful day. Live Jesus. the beat.